Hello folks, I'd like to say good morning but unfortunately I can't today because I haven't managed to get a vlog done. Now, uh, I did say on yesterday's vlog that hopefully I'll be able to pick, it, pick up the camera and get a little bit more brew footage and what have you, but I'm afraid, alas, it hasn't worked out like that and I've had a really busy day doing other things. And one of those things has been to get uh, a bit of design work done for the control panel. So I'm going to get a big sticker for it printed and I wanted to get it done so I can get it to the printers to get it here in time so there's no delay in me finishing off the brew stand and then starting the control panel and then we can get the pots finished because I really want to get this done before the summer's out, preferably before mid-September so we can at least have one or two brew days with it in the beer garden with the patrons of the pub. That's the plan. So I will at least show you what I've made today. Uh, it's on Dropbox here. It should have come home with me. Uh, it's here. Yeah, I can see it. Uh, how do you want to open this file? Oh, it's, give me a minute, I'm going to have to find Inkscape. It's not found in Inkscape for some reason. So here we are. I hope you can see that. I'll just see if I can get rid of that. And maybe that. And if we can go full screen. I will. It's probably not going to let me do it though. No, that's as big as we're going to get. But there we are. Maybe if I just zoom in a touch, folks should be able to see exactly what we've got. So up in the top, all these little sections have greyed out areas. I don't know if you can see that. You see the greyed out areas for where bulbs are going to go and everything else. So up at the top of the panel we're going to have the start switch and the bulb is going to be in this little light bulb majiggly do diddly do there, whatever you want to call it. And then we've got a panel meter with uh, all of the required um, amps, hertz, kilowatts, that kind of stuff. And then here we're sticking a water meter which will be hooked up to the HLT so if we want to take 10 litres of water out of the HLT into Oh, I'll tell you what, I've just noticed some of these uh, things have changed size, haven't they? Some of these text doodly doos. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, I'll have to double check that and resend it to, uh, to Shaz. But yeah, if I want to be able to put a certain amount of water into the mash tun, then this gubbins, this thing will do it here for us. Uh, then we've got HLT with the illumination, the PID, and the on and off switch down the bottom, timer and alarm, mash pump, which is going to be automatic or manual, the boil, high or low, all that kind of jazz. So one element, two elements. And down the bottom we're going to have an auto start timer, which I can set to come on at 7 in the morning so my hot water's ready. And then we've got HLT pump and boil pump sat there separately in the bottom corner with their switches and lights. So I think it looks pretty smart. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go into the emails now and just double check that I've sent the right one to Shaz because all these bloody, all the lettering's in the wrong place. I don't know what I've done there, but I'm sure I'll be able to fix it. There we go. That's the whole thing in order. I've tidied it up. I don't know why it all changed when I got home, but it did. I'm going to use that bad boy as a screenshot, folks, and we'll pick up the vlog tomorrow. I'm sorry there hasn't been much today, but, uh, well, all I can do is apologise. But we have a big, big brew stand build to get completed, so it was important that we saw this design out. And... Uh, Seeing it put together is going to be another huge leap forward. Cheers, folks. We'll see you tomorrow.